forgot the differences in screen and battery size, and setting aside the camera capabilities, the biggest difference between Galaxy S20 and the rest of the lineup is the phone's 5G connectivity. All the three variants of Galaxy S20 series has the components to connect to 5G networks. The first time Samsung has included 5G across its flagship lineup. However, not all 5G networks are created equal. So here the question is, does S20 series has the real 5G? I will try to summarize the differences in this video. So let's get right into it. The networks are not available in all the countries, so let's talk about the US. In the US, there are two main types of 5G networks, Sub-6 and Millimeter Wave. A Sub-6 5G network is a faster version of the LTE networks we use and is wider reaching than Millimeter Wave. A Millimeter Wave network is faster with multiple gigabit speed and low latency, but East Tower is only capable of covering a few city blocks and has trouble penetrating buildings and homes. So the bottom line here is Sub-6 5G network is wider reaching but not that much faster. And Millimeter 5G networks is really faster but it can cover only less space. So now you understood about the biggest two type of 5G networks. So let's talk about the S20 series. S20 series has three devices, S20, S20 Plus and S20 Ultra. The three models comes with 5G connectivity. But here is the truth, Galaxy S20 can only connect to Sub-6 network. So only the Galaxy S20 Plus and S20 Ultra come with the necessary components to connect to both the Sub-6 and Millimeter Wave 5G networks. So the thing here is, if you buy S20, it can only connect to Sub-6 5G network, which is not that much fast compared to Millimeter Wave. When telecom companies talk about the promises of 5G connectivity and the improvements to technology it will deliver, they are talking about the millimeter type connections. Don't get me wrong, Sub-6 5G is an improvement over LTE, but millimeter 5G is what the telecom companies are working forward. So the companies that gives 5G networks. Sprint's 5G network is all Sub-6. T-Mobile have both Sub-6 and millimeter wave 5G connections deployed, while Verizon is solely millimeter wave. At launch, you won't have the option to buy Samsung Galaxy S20 if you are a Verizon customer. You will have to wait until later this year when Horizon rolls out its Sub-6 5G network. In other words, regardless of which Galaxy S20 you buy, you will get 5G connectivity. But only the S20 Plus and S20 Ultra will be able to give you gigabyte speeds as long as your telecom company supports them, of course. So if you want a phone that has real 5G, you have to buy S20 Plus or S20 Ultra. If you buy S20, you are not getting a device that can connect to fastest future 5G. I think you guys got it. If you find this video useful, like, subscribe. My name is Swimil and see you guys in the next one. Bye.